Today we'll make two crafts using Dollar Tree stickers. Keep watching. All right, so we're gonna start with this little frame wall decor that came from Dollar Tree. And then we have a variety of stickers here. They look, they look very springy to me, very pretty. So these are gonna be the ones we're gonna to use today. You can find these in the Crafter Square. Use any ones that you like. The idea is the same. Choose some scrapbook paper or some wallpaper or some adhesive paper, whatever you want to use for your background. This one is very cute. This one I think I got from Joanne on a clearance. I believe I did. All right, so here we go, project number one. We're gonna use this little frame here. It's very easy to take apart. Just fold up these four tabs take your backing right off. It's not glued down or anything. You can peel it off if you want or you can use the back, whatever you want to do. Sometimes it comes off easy and sometimes it's a real booger to remove. You can always use seen other people use uh, Goo Gone and stuff like that, but I don't like the idea of getting the project wet and then putting any type of glue or tape on it. I don't feel like it would stick. So I'm just going to smooth it down a little bit with this heavier grit paper. I use a sanding block most of the time for my projects, but I needed a heavier grit to really smooth down the bulk of this paper. So the first sticker I'm going to use will be this yellow truck on the top. It is 3D, so there are two layers here. If you wanna just pick the truck off, you could probably cut around it and cut the flower section off of it. But I really like the idea of having a little flower cart right in the back of the truck. Or maybe the truck is parked right in front of the stand. Who knows, but I like it like this. So we're gonna use the background also. For the paper, there are lots that would look great with this. But just go through and kind of get an idea of what you like and what you want. I think Dollar Tree has some of these little pads that are smaller, maybe in solids. Here we go. This is the one we're going to use. It is yellow and white. You could use wrapping paper for this too if you wanted. Now, I just wanted to show you that if you wanted to, you could use double stick tape here, but I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like it's going to hold it enough for my sanding aggressively, like you know I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the glue on here. No need to peel off the tape. We're just going to put it right back down and it won't hurt a thing being there. Okay, just pressing that down firmly to make sure that we have good, good seal there. And then I'm gonna use my wooden ruler to press it down. I decided to trim just a little bit. If you use a double stick tape instead of the glue stick, you would certainly need to cut this neatly close to the edge so that it have a nice finished look. I'm gonna take my sanding block here and just start trimming away downward and outward from my backing and it's just going to shear that right off for you and there you go you can see before the, I pressed it down you could see the little tape but it's going to be covered so it's all right then decide where you want your sticker to go top bottom center wherever you like it excuse my shaky camera it's actually like a tripod arm that's attached to the table so it wiggles I'm sure you've seen it on here before so going to the other pack, I like this, I think it says, uh, yes, Live Today. I liked this one with a little yellow flower. I'm going to add that one on the bottom there. And don't worry about it looking top heavy because we're going to fix that. Pop that right back into your frame. Fold your tabs down. And because we didn't glue it, we'll be able to use this project again. So here we go. 
I love the little beaded top. It came that way, which makes it really, really nice and finished looking. Go ahead and take some coordinated ribbon. It does not have to be wired for the type of bow that we're gonna make. So go ahead and grab that Dollar Tree ribbon, save yourself some money. I love the lemons the first time I found it. So pretty. I think lemons are gonna be big this year. So hopefully, I'll be coming up with some more crafts with lemons for you. Okay, this is so simple. Just crisscross these over in any pattern or shape that you would like. You can try to get them the same size. You can get them in different lengths. It doesn't matter, what, whatever makes you happy. Cause you can fix it in the end. You can trim it up if you need. I'm gonna take a little bit of this twine. This is just cotton fine from Dollar Tree. It's a huge spool. Get a lot of use out of it. Then I'm going to hold this in the center, wrap it around with this cord, and tie it off. You can certainly use <clears throat> burlap if you have it. You could use a thin ribbon if you if that's what you have, or you can use um, pipe cleaner, you can use floral wire, whatever you have. Just something to bind those all together in the middle. So if there's some frayed ends, just be sure that you trim that off. For me, trimming a couple of pieces to make sure that they're all even is a necessary thing. And then you can just kind of flare them out a little bit. Pull them around, get them where you like them, and decide where you want to put this. I think it would look better on the bottom to kind of balance out the heaviness from the hanger and the truck on the top. Just a little bit of hot glue so we don't make a mess. Put the center right in the center bottom of the frame. And that was so simple and look how pretty that is. Cute as can be and it is ready to go. Make a nice gift too, I think. It's definitely spring. All right, on to project number two. And I'm gonna use the bicycle this time with the pansies. Here is a little, I don't know what you call this. It came from Dollar Tree. It's a little triangle decor piece. And this is burlap that I got from the thrift store. Use any fabric that you would like for your backing. But I think this just looks great together. I love the chalkboard look with the burlap behind it. So you just press the backing out and then clean up your frame because you don't want to have a big mess there. You can peel this off. Again, sometimes it will be agreeable, sometimes it will not. Just flip it around and use the other side if you need to, or sand down what you have going on right now. And this sticker behaved pretty well. Okay, now, nice and pretty. Clean it up a little bit and putting down my fabric. All right, so I wanna get an idea of how much fabric I'm gonna to need to wrap around the edges. So I'm just gonna cut a square of it and then start trimming it down so that I have about an inch overhang on each of the sides of the triangle. All the way around. Okay, so because it's burlap and you can see through it, I'm going to use the brown side as the front so the burlap will just look brown you don't see all that paper through it otherwise you're going to see the white and the blue you don't want that so protect your fingers because you know this goes right through the burlap and just start folding over your edges adding glue, tucking, folding over where you need, and then you can always trim up anything left that kind of hangs out or gets in the way. Those little pieces will just come straight out of there. No big deal, easy peasy. See, I'm cleaning that corner up. All right, now watch how I fold this corner. Fold it in and then over. Makes a nice, neat corner. And you can cut the bulk off there and then continue around with this side till you get up to the top tip of the triangle. Tuck 
trim it up just a tad but don't cut it too short because you're going to need to fold over that tip to cover it without making a hole or making a mess up there and then trim off those frayed pieces and there you go perfect burlap triangle backing so this is the bike that we're going to use and the largest part of this triangle is the bottom so we are going to put our bike down there you can decide where you want it check your placement this is how it would look you don't want to have your wheel stuck behind the the trim there so be sure that you get it centered and then choose what sign that you want to use you know me I love the word joy and enjoy this you know sounds to me like you're in joy so I love that it's perfect it's perfect for carefree springtime DIYs you're going to need hot glue to hold these down the adhesive is not going to stick well to this burlap put your stickers on there where you like them look at it and decide do you need to add more can you stop here and I love these pansies so I was trying to get an idea of what else I might want to add on here but I think this is what yes this is what I'm gonna do to fill that bottom out a little hot glue and put the bouquet of pansies right there at the front of the bike all right so I'm filling this black and white ribbon that I got from Big Lots on clearance from Christmas and I decided that I want to make a little bow for the top. I want to add a little something else to it. Just a simple little shoestring bow. I'm going to fool with it until I get it exactly how I want it. I think that'll look pretty right on the top. But I'm going to trim it up first with the same ribbon, which is exactly, or very close to, the exact same diameter as the edges of this box. Be sure that you cut your ribbon at an angle and if you do this when you flip it over you'll have the perfect angle to lay down for the next row okay so see here i'm cutting even with the bottom flip the ribbon over and then you have the perfect angle to go on top in that corner isn't that neat i accidentally found that i'm not a genius that was really simply an accident I thought it was going to get all complicated with the math and stuff, which I'm not good at, so it didn't. All right. Trim that off. Now it's time to put this down, and look what I did. Bump. I got out of line over there, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how to clean that up, so don't fret if you make a mess with your glue gun. Give it a second to start to dry. Then you can take any type of little wooden stick or a piece of wire that you have around and just pick it right off. So I'm just making sure that I got off all the little extras in there so it looks nice and neat. And rather than dovetailing this tiny ribbon, I've decided just to cut it at a slant. It'll be simple and perfect for this. There we go, right at the tip. How cute is that? You could stop here if you wanted, or you could get some florals. Blah, 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 blah. Florals. <laughs> yeah. These came from Dollar Tree, but the ones that I was cutting just before actually are from the thrift store. So decide what you want. Poke them in there. See if it's how you like it, because once you glue it in, it's there. Or you can make a mess and waste a little bit of time pulling it all back out, and I'm not about that. Our time is precious. Let's do things we love, not picking apart the things we don't, we don't really care about. All right, so I'm adding some yellow and I'm adding some little purple. I didn't have any pansies, but I thought that these little hydrangeas looked pretty good. And there you go, what do you think? So here's the second one that we did complete looking all kinds of spring lovely look at our nice edges isn't that great and here's the first one that we did these are so cute you can use one to hang and one to sit on a shelf somewhere and they are just wonderful 
Thanks for watching. Bye.